Hey, good morning. It's Victoria B. here again. Um, today, I'm going to be reading Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, it's 3.09 in the morning. That's when I'm starting this reading. Um, hello to all my Cancers out there. Um, cancers are beautiful people. They're the empaths. They take, they're the caretakers of the Zodiac. They're the mothers, the men and the women. They're all maternal. They take care of everybody. They take care of the family. They're responsible. You can always depend on them. And I have nothing but respect for you guys. So I'm just going to do a reading for you today. Um, I'm going to start first with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I think it kind of fits you guys. So let's begin with our reading. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Give me a card on Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. What's going on with our Cancers right now? What's going on in their love life? I think cancers like to hear about what's going on in their love life. So that's what I'm going to want to try to pull that up today and see how it works out. Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Give me a card for cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for all of our cancers out there all over the world. Be patient while I shuffle. Oh boy, that came out fast. Okay, we've got number 13. It's called Will, W I L L. It's Will. Okay, we'll do a couple more oracle cards. Uh, Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors, to, uh, Archangel Michael. Me a card for my cancers all over the world. Our caretakers give us some insight into their love life, what's going on with them and their person. Holy Spirit, holy angels. A card for my cancers. Sun and rising Venus and Mercury. Just be patient while I shuffle. Must be a lot going on. The cards aren't coming out like they're supposed to here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Oh, there we go. Okay, Patience. Number 36 is Patience. Sounds like my cancers. Got Will, Pal, got Will and Patience. And one more card for our cancers. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, give me a card for our Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I think that wanted to jump to uh, Purity. Let's see, I have to put my glasses on. I can't see. This is a light colored card. Um, number 30, Purity. And on there we have the Snow Moon. And it's a full moon on this card. Purity. And on our patience card, we have the green corn moon. And on our will card, we have, um, looks like, yeah, waxing give us four. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the new moon beginnings and that's a full moon on that card so we've got a 13 a 36 a 30 and a 2 okay and that's our bottom of the deck all right and i'm going to read from the book on these because they give some amazing insight 
I like to get every detail on these cards. They're so beautiful. And they tell us a lot about our cancers. Okay, our first card, which is Will, number 13. If you add those two numbers together, it comes out to a four. Let's see, let's read Will, and that is the Waxing Gibbous, two, waxing gibbous Four Moon. Let's see. Just be patient with me. Been doing a lot of readings today and yesterday. Let's see. Okay. Let's be patient with me here. Okay, um, show the card one more time. Will, W-I-L-L, -L, comes out to the number four. Okay, Will, De decisions require action. You are in control of your own decisions in life, no one else's. Passion and will determine a great proportion of your success. You will persist. You possess free will which means you should focus on yourself first and avoid placing your will over another's. It says, I have the will to make the changes that I need. Will feels like a very old-fashioned concept in a modern world where everything seems like everything is geared up to be as easy as possible or there is always someone else to blame. The idea of placing our personal will persistently into something seems quaint. When we decide we are going to change something in our lives, let's say particularly negative patterns or a bad habit, the change requires a concentration of our will. We may want the change, but it is our will that insists we stay on the path to that change. To be willful means we have the power of control over our own, our own actions, and that will fires up the persistence we need to get what we want. Contrary to popular belief in witchcraft traditions, practitioners do not interfere with another's free will. Yes. Remember that Wicca and it harm none, do what you will. You never interfere with someone's free will. Con oh, see, wait. This means we do not cast spells upon people to influence their behavior. How do we get what we want instead? We cast ourselves in line with our will. Focusing carefully on what we what on what we would like in our lives instead. For example, instead of casting a spell to get back our ex-boyfriend, who doesn't want us by influencing his will to love us again, we more ethically cast ourselves for our for our ideal partner. So they're saying instead of casting a spell on someone that you want, cast a spell to attract an ideal partner. Because you know about interfering with people with free will. We know, you know, everybody knows that. If you're in the esoteric, you never do that. Because it, it gets, it's disastrous if you do. This way, we don't interfere interfere with his free will. And if the ex is our, is our ideal partner, he will return to us freely. If not, we have attracted someone new and better for us. Either way, win-win. So, it's saying here, cancer, let's see, to use our will productively, we should assess what we really want and make sure this is what we want to reach for. So, it's saying, this card is saying, um, okay, cancers have a lot of willpower. Okay, they do. They're very ten uh, tenacious and they go after what they want. And, and in addition to being emotional and sensitive and kind to others, they still have that part of them that likes to control a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it's just telling you that 
to attract your ideal partner if you're gonna if you're gonna do some sort of spell work or whatever this is what this card's saying to attract to do it to attract a good partner for you not necessarily your ex or somebody you have your eye on let go of that person don't cling to them that's what it's saying to me okay so use your willpower for good and you'll be better off in the long run because um, if you try to force your love on somebody, you know, you know that never works. It always backfires. So it's better to find someone that's like you, an ideal partner for you so you would be happy so they could emotionally fulfill you. That's what I'm getting out of this card. All right, I'm going to read. I hope you guys don't mind me reading out of the book because I love this book. It's great. The next card is the green corn moon, and it's patience number 36 that comes out to a nine. Okay. Let's see, green corn moon. Is that 36? Okay. All right. The green corn moon, patience. Let's see. Enjoy the journey, not just the destination. The time has come to learn patience and avoid the lure of instant gratification. Slow down. Take your time. Things are happening. You just can't see it yet. Be patient, be loving and patient with your body. And you need to say to yourself, I take my time to enjoy the journey. So it's saying that I don't really need to read the rest of this. Um, it's telling you to slow down and don't, don't be in such a rush to make things happen that you want to happen in your love life. Because we're doing a little reading here for you. Um, Try to try not to, you know, a lot of us like instant gratification, but it's better to wait for the right thing, for the right one to come in your life or whatever the case may be. And it says the green corn moon encourages us to watch for growth and enjoy patiently the journey of growth. While we may not yet be at fruition, we are on our way. So. And you have to, this it's just, it's just, you're just telling you to be patient and do not um, fall in the trap of instant gratification. And a lot of us do that, but it really, it's better, it's better to wait for the right partner or for the right situation. Instant gratification doesn't have a lot of rewards. If things come too easy, then... You know, if you didn't, if you didn't wait, I mean, anything good is worth waiting for and having patience. I mean, you know, we've all had to learn patience. So that's what they're telling you to be patient. Don't force your will. Let others have their free will. Don't try to push the relationship and have patience. Okay, next, next card is uh, purity, number 30, and it's the snow moon. It's a full moon. Purity. Okay, what number is that? That comes out to a three. The thirty. So it comes out to the uh, number third to a three. Let's see. Okay. It says purity. Look for the simplest and cleanest solution. Understand your motives for, motives for doing what you are doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. I know why I do what I do. That's your affirmation. Okay. I'm going to read this part. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Okay. The purity that is referred here is the purity of the silver moon on the unmarked snow. See the card? See the moon up there? Okay. 
the simple purity of intention that nature demonstrates, the purity of clean water and a mountain stream, the purity of one single purpose. One single purpose. The Cambridge Dictionary defines this kind of purity as being clean or free from harmful substances. And our world is full of so much pollution and damage that that may well be hard to find. However, the ancients, look, ancients looked at the cycles that brought, brought ice and snow as a sort of reset button, a time when everything lay fallow for a while and brought with a kind of, it, with it, a kind of simplicity. These times were hard. But if we learn, if we were prepared for them, we would survive. There are good reasons to strive for a kind of positive purity in our lives. Being precise with our language and as clear as we can in our communication means fewer miscommunications and misunderstandings in our relationship and work life. Keeping our intentions pure and untainted with lower energies such as jealousy, revenge, or unworthiness as much as possible means that our motivations are pure and not muddy and they're resonating. Okay, this card is saying that um, you need to be, you know, as far as um, the way you communicate, like with your partner, um, you kind of got a lot of cancers, you know, they, they don't really come out and say what they feel. They feel like they're going to maybe hurt somebody's feelings or say the wrong thing. So sometimes you sort of have to guess, you know, um, you have to kind of guess what they're thinking and they kind of maybe sometimes expect you to guess what they're thinking. I've, I already know about this kind of stuff. So if you keep, if you communicate with your partner clear, you can say what's on your mind, but just say it at a time when you're not angry and be clear about it and don't have, um, don't be clingy, don't be jealous and don't want to take revenge because um, sometimes that's water signs. I mean, I'm a Scorpio moon. Sometimes water signs tend to be that way. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm saying all water signs, not just cancer. They tend to be a little bit along the jealous side and they kind of, and, and sometimes, you know, sometimes they take retaliation or they may be real tenacious, maybe a little bit too controlling. And this is all the water signs. It's not just cancer. I mean, don't take this the wrong way. This is what this card is saying. So if you communicate clear with your partner and not expect them to just know what's wrong, you need to tell them clearly what's wrong for your relationships to go better. So and this is all the, most all the water signs are like this. I can tell you, I got water, I got water, I got Scorpio and Mercury and Scorpio and the, I got my moon is in Scorpio too. And I already know, I mean, I kind of have that, I'm a fire sign, but I have that heavy water energy in me. And I contend sometimes, you know, you can, like I said, keeping our intentions pure and untainted with lower energies, such as jealousy, revenge, or unworthiness as much as possible means that our motivations are pure and not muddy, muddy in their reasoning. And communicate as precise as you can with your partner. Don't expect them to read your mind. This is what I'm getting out of this. All right, I'm going to read. This is on the bottom of the deck. And I'll be done reading. We'll get into the tarot part. But I feel like it's important to read from this book because it gives a lot of insight. This is a great card. It's number two, the new moon beginnings, okay? We just had the new moon in Gemini a couple days ago. And it's also Venus retrograde in Gemini for the next four months. So new moon beginnings. It's, this, is, this is looking really good, Cancer. I like that. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Let's see what our queen of the moon has to say about that. Number two. The new moon beginnings. You are offered a fresh start. This is the bottom of the deck. This is the um, this is the whole to me. The bottom of the deck on these oracle cards are the basis of the reading. So you might be having a new beginning soon with something, a new beginning in love. 
Yeah, my cancers, they're the king and queens of love. They're caretakers. They're very caring people, kind, compassionate, all that. So definitely worth, you know, they're definitely worth, um, if you have a partner that's a cancer, they're definitely worth um, working with, even if you don't get along at first because they do they'll take care of you they'll look out for you always no problem there so i'm going to read this looks like you might have a new beginning this is on the bottom of the deck it's the basis of your reading new beginnings in love maybe you are offered a fresh start your journey is beginning take the first step towards something new it is time to place emphasis on your health and well-being and your mantra is, I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginnings. Okay, let's see. This is interesting. I want to read the whole thing because it's so cool. And then I'm going to get into the tarot. There is something incredibly poetic and even romantic about the tiny silver sliver of silver that is the new moon. After the waning cycle and depth of the dark moon, here at here is appearing in the sky, incredibly a crescent of the finest light. Almost a scratch upon the blackboard of the universe, here is the evidence that even after the darkest night, light returns again. Yes, of course. The crescent of the new moon is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient prehistory, there are cave drawings featuring crescent moons. I talk about crescent moons all the time because that's when you get a lot. That's when I get a lot of psychic insight. There are crescent moons, sculptures of goddesses with crescent mooned diadems, and the goddesses Aphrodite, Hecate, Diana, Artemis, Iana, and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with new moon symbology. So it's a new moon. Go back even further in, in the Neolithic cave paintings where moon and sun symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. When the new moon appears in the lunar cycle, we are gifted with a new beginning and a fresh start. What we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released in the void of the dark moon. And here waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to risk trying again. Whether we are asking for a fresh start in relationships or a new love or are heralding the action, actioning of intentions such as better health, a new business, or the start of a new project, writing to a new moon energy will assist us. So always, I mean, the new moon has always been a good time for new beginnings. Any type of... Um, manifestation work i mean good manifestation work any type of like um meditation or spell work good spell work is is there's certain times but for anything like for love for love rituals um the new moon is the best time and i'm not talking about going behind to some going against someone's free will the new moon is the best time to do those type of things to Maybe do a little ritual to attract your ideal partner, just like here. You know, will. But you got to use your, you can't take someone's free will. I don't know why this is coming up like this, but this is you know, what I'm getting. It's all, it's all coming together now. All right. Let's see. Okay, whether we're asking for a fresh start in relationships or a new love or are heralding the action, actioning of intentions such as better health, a new business, or the start of a new project, writing on the new moon energy will assist us. So it's a good time to start a new business, a new project, a new love, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in your life. Cancer. Many creative people start new works on a new moon. See? And I personally, this lady is saying that she wrote the book. She's saying that she likes to begin all her new works on the moon phase. The lady that wrote this book, Stacey DeMarco, Queen of the Moon Oracle. She does all her new projects in the new moon. 
So it's a great time to start anything, a new love, um, love, a new job, a new business, a creative project, because that's the new moon is the time of new beginning. So that makes sense. Okay. And what else do we got here? The most powerful of new moons for new starts traditionally are within the season of spring. Well, that's interesting. So it looks like the new moon, spring is, um, yeah, it don't seem like spring where I'm at, but spring is here. And this is spring is the best time. The spring new moon is actually the best time for a new for new projects, for anything, and for love relationships, anything that you're trying to manifest. So just remember, you know, don't hang on to something. Don't, you know, if there's someone, a partner you're trying to hold on to that don't really, that don't really want to be there, or, you know, or don't try to attract an ex, um, if you're doing anything, try to go out and find someone new, okay, that's like you, like your ideal partner, like you share common interests and things like that. This is what I'm getting out of this, okay? Is that, that, that makes sense to me. So I hope you guys didn't mind me doing all that reading. I like reading all of this. I think it's great because a lot of people don't know about the moon. The moon is like very important, you know. The sun and the moon are very important because one cannot exist without the other. We have to have night. We have to have day. But the moon is um, a major part in our life. So that's why I read all that. All right. Hope you guys didn't mind that. But the basis of our spread looks like new beginnings in love. Hope and it may be new beginnings in your, um, you may be starting a new job or a new project. But this is, I think this is going to be a love reading because that's what I've asked the spirits for. So that's good. It's great. Okay, let's see. Let's start with, I'm going to use, um, since you guys are water signs, I'm going to use, we're going to take a swim with the Mermaid Tarot. I love, this is my favorite deck. It's called the Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson. Illustrated by Julie Dillon. Beautiful artwork in this. Okay. And I got this at Books A Million. Of all places. A lot of decks, but this is the... Actually, me and my, my daughter saw it before I did, but... This is good for water signs. So we're going to take a swim with the Mermaid Tarot. Okay. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. What does... um. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Arch Archangel Michael, what does um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what do all our Cancer people uh, all over the world, United States, all over the country, what do they need to know? What does this will card mean? What does this mean for my Cancers and their person or the person they're trying to manifest or new beginnings in love? What does this will card, what does this mean? Spirit, Holy Ancestors, I need a card for this will. Waxing Gibbous, three, will, number 13, comes out to a four. This is the card we're clarifying. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Spirit, what does this will mean for our Cancers? What does this will mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like some of them wanted to. I might just take them all. I don't know if I want to take that many cards. Let's see. One that wanted to jump out was, that's too many cards. It's way too many. I don't want to take all that right now. The one that really wanted to jump out was the sun. And, and on the, the sun is the one that jumped out first. This is a beautiful card. It's got, I'm going to show it to you. The sun is a major arcana. 
it is the best card in the deck to get. It looks like that the sun is on your side, Cancer, in matters of love. Maybe you bring sun and you bring happiness to others. But look in the picture of this card. This is not like the other deck that I use. This is underwater. It's the mermaid tarot. See the turtle, the sea turtle. And then you see, um, let's see, you see, it's like, looks like two young children. And then you see a sea of fish. And then you see the sun coming up into the water. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? But the sun to me is just like happiness, warmth. Um, the sun comes out. This means your love life is going, is excelling. Anytime the sun, that's the best card to get in the deck is the sun. For a love reading. Okay, so you got the will. You got the sun, and on the bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles, okay? And let's see, let's see. Got the seven of pentacles, which, you know, that is divine timing. Um, there may be somebody out there that you're, that you got your eye on, or they got their eye on you, Cancer. Um, you see these two, they're all... They're mermaids, and she, the girl, it's a mermaid, I don't know, it's a merman and a mermaid, and the mermaid is pregnant, and it's a couple, and they're there with their seven pinnacles, admiring everything they've accomplished, and there's two people in this card, it's not like the Rider Waite, there's two people in this card, so this is, um, actually I didn't tell you about this card, the sun is the Leo card, fire energy. Okay, that's good. The sun's always a good card. And then this seven of pentacles is earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo may mean something to you, may not. But the seven of pentacles is about looking back at all you've accomplished. They're kind of like sitting back, looking at their pentacles. And the little mermaid in here, she's pregnant and they're all cuddled up together. And, um... It's also about divine timing. So you got something coming, Cancer. Looks like you got a new love, just like we just like we had predicted. Let's see what we got next here. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And this Queen of Swords was wanting to come out. This is our Queen of Swords on the mermaid deck. She's uh she's really pretty looking, I think. I think she's a pretty Queen of Swords. Look at that. Queen of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You may have your eye on, you know, your person could be a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini, or you may have your eye on some, or they may might have their eye on you. And also, I saw a great card also. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. Man, you can't beat this. You got the sun, you got the seven of pentacles, you got the queen of swords, that's your that's your friend, male or female, that's your person, whether you're with them or not, um, and then actually it is your person, because look at this, you got the ten of pentacles, look at this ten of pentacles, it's absolutely gorgeous, look at the ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles is, you know, family, happy family, you have all the components. This is the perfect card to get for a love reading. Um, you have everything. You're like a power couple. You have kids. You have grandkids. You have the dogs running around. Only difference is, is these guys are underwater. This is under the sea. It's the same thing. Ten of Pentacles. Earth Energy Capricorn Taurus Virgo. But you got the sun. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is beautiful. You got, okay. You got will. We know Cancer's got willpower. We know that. Looks like your relationship that you're in, looks like you're already in a relationship, or it looks like it just gets going pretty good. You've got the sun. 
major arcana you got the seven of pentacles and this seven of pentacles is different it's got two people in it and you got the queen of swords that's your person and you got the ten of pentacles this is beautiful it really is let's hold it up check it out cancer yeah, you got it all. I might have to just stop the reading. I don't know, feel like I need to go any further, but I'm going to keep going. So you got will, willpower, and you got the sun. That's Leo. In, that's the Leo card. Happy, joyful. You, know, you see them too. The two uh, mermaid kids playing in the water with the sea turtle, with the sun and all the fish beautiful and then you have the seven of pentacles okay and in this card there's two people on the rider weight deck there's only one but it still means like divine timing if you're married you've got a great relationship if you're with somebody you got a great relationship if you're not one is coming to you Take it how it resonates out there. If you're single, you got something good coming to you. And if you're married or with somebody, you got you y'all got a good thing going right now, according to this cards. And then we got the Queen of Swords. That's probably your person. And then y'all have the Ten of Pentacles together. And this um. Like I said, I'm, you know, this is general reading, so you got to take it how it resonates. If you're not with anybody right now, it looks like you will be. So, you just can't beat this. I just want to stop right here, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, our next card that I'm going to clarify is patience. Okay. No instant gratification. The ones that are, are um, what I'm getting out of this, the people, the, the cancers out there that are not married or single, you have that ten of pentacles, the sun, and all that coming your way. And if you're already married or you're already with somebody, that's what your, your relationship is looking like. Um... This card here, I think it's for our single cancers. It's like, don't expect, don't look for instant gratification. Okay, you look for somebody, you just, just got to have patience. If you're, if you're, and even if you're in this relationship, you probably have a lot of patience. So, let's see what's coming up on this. Okay, um, spirits, give me a card on this patience for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Okay, that come out fast. The Three of Wands. Ah, okay. This Three of Wands is a little different, but it's it has the same meaning. You see our mermaid, and she's underwater. She's sitting there with her Three Wands, and this is like a, um, it's a pearl. It's a fire sign. This three of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And see this right here? It's not a, it's a, the one, it's the three of wands, but that's called a fire pearl in the mermaid deck. It's the same thing. But it's the three of wands. She's holding the three of wands with the fire pearl. So, um, our single cancers, um, you could be dealing with somebody that lives at a distance from you, or they're, they're waiting for their ship. They're waiting for their a new world. They're looking for a new world. They may be. They may have a lot in their world right now. They may have all material stability and so forth, but they're kind of looking at. They're looking for a, a new a new start, a new beginning, a new world. And the person, if you're single or whatever, the person could be at a distance from you. That's what I'm getting out of this card. So you need to have patience with that if that's what's going on with you. Let's see. What is this three of wands here for? 
for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit. What is this Three of Wands here for? Spirit, I mean, um, Three of Wands and Patience. Three of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's the Fire Pearl. Let's show it to you one more time. She got her Three of Wands, the Mermaid, and that Three of Wands, and on top of that, instead of the, um, like on the Rider Waite, they have the Earth, they have the World, the Globe. This is a Fire Pearl because they're under the sea. And that's, uh, this um, deck is just really amazing. It's got some really beautiful artwork to it. Anyway, let me stop talking about that. I'll talk all day on that, and then I won't get the reading done. Let's see. Three of Wands. Spirit, why is this Three of Wands here? I just wanted to jump out. Oh, goodness. I feel like putting that back in the deck. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay, well, Cancer, I mean, I see this uh, come up. Um, this looks like it's probably you. Uh, you know, Nine of Swords on this one. It's got a person, you know, they're under the water. They're like, um, on top of a rock, there's like a little tent. And the person's in there hiding. And then... There's people, um, there's a, there's a, um, merman, mermaid out there peeping in to check, check on them to see if they're okay. You know what Nine of Swords is? That is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Um, Nine of Swords means that you're, you're not sleeping at night. You have anxiety. You're you're feeling depressed, probably. You, you can't sleep. You're having nightmares. And that's one of them cards. It's like, you know, you can't sleep. I'm trying to think of a song. Oh, yeah. I can't eat. I can't sleep anymore. Waiting, waiting for love to walk through that door. I wish I didn't miss you anymore. Can't sing this morning. It's too early. But they're stressing. They're missing somebody. It looks like um, our single cancers, you're, you're stressing over something. It was looking so happy over here. I'm just wondering what's going on with this patience card and this three of wands. You may be having trouble with the fire sign. Too, also, you might be with the fire sign, and you might, you know, you know, things might not be going so well. So you're in that nine of swords mode. We're gonna clarify. And on the bottom of deck, uh, bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles, which that means equal give and take in a relationship. Look at that. Look at the pentacles. That's cool. So I'm looking at this, you might be thinking, you might be feeling like if you're in a relationship right now that there's no equal give and take, and that's what you're, and it's causing you to have to have a lot of patience. There's something going on here, and it could be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because of the three of wands. All right, let me see. Let's keep going here. Purity. We're going to do some more clarification. It started out so good. But it looks like, you know, cancer, you know, it's it's telling you to have patience, you know, with the, whoever you're dealing with to have patience. And we know our cancers can be patient. That's what I'm getting out of this. Let's see what this purity card is. Spirit, give me a card for this snow moon purity. What does that mean for our cancers and their person? What's going on? Well, I didn't. I'm not going to let that. Oh, I'm not too sure that jumped out. So let's just try, start over. Okay, purity. Aha, there we go. Those two wanted to jump out. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the. Yep, yep, yep. So we've got 
the Six of Swords, the Empress, and the Eight of Wands. I see. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm getting out of this. This spread over here um, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's for our married group of Cancers. Looks like you guys are good. And there's a group of Cancers in this spread that could be married or with somebody or single, and they're not doing so hot. Now, this one here. We have the eight of one, the first card that came up with the six of swords. Here it's very interesting. We have a merman on a sled on the ice. Um, and he's, he's the seal is in the seal. He's got the seal roped up, and the seal is taking him into a better place. Getting him off that ice, getting him off. He's he's traveling. He's traveling to calmer waters. Maybe that, maybe where they're at now. There's a lot of undercurrents. They're wanting to go to where it's calmer. This is the mermaid deck. It's the same thing as the six of swords and the other in the rider weight tarot. Heading over to the paradise isle. The paradise island. Looks like it's icy there. They're trying to get to somewhere where it's maybe warm. That's what I'm guessing. And then the Empress came out. The Empress is a major arcana. It's um, Libra or Taurus. That could mean something to you. And then Empress is a good love card to get. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Which is all about fiery passionate communication cupid's arrows of love um internet it's the person is at just like here i've noticed the person that you're of interest they're at a distance that's a fire sign aries leo sagittarius they're at a distance from you so we're gonna move that over here And looks like that since you guys, one of y'all cancers out there have a, is, has, has some kind of long distance relationship. We got our married group and then now we got long distance or single, whichever resonates to you. Okay. And we're going to, I'm going to give more clarification. Don't worry. But it looks like to me, your person could be a fire sign. Okay. And this is the one you're all up in the nine of swords about. You're, you're the sleepless nights. You're not doing too good. And because you think you're looking at this person, male or female, you're looking at this person as your empress. And you're wanting to communicate. See the, can you see the, uh, is this there? Are they pointing together? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, the Eight of Wands, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. That's, like I said, that's communication. Um, keep his errors love, um, email, texting. And the person is at a distance that you're, you're some of these cancers, this group of cancers, um, your love interest is at a distance and you're seeing them as the Empress, male or female, because those errors of love are pointing towards the Empress. These are two distance cards. This is three of wands is a distance card and the eight of wands is, is also. So if you're at a distance, I mean, this is why you're in the nine of swords mode. You're missing your person or they're missing you. You're missing your person or they're missing you. So you guys need to, but there is going to be communication. They're going to be communicating with you. They're seeing you as the empress this fire sign. They're going to be communicating with you soon. That's what I'm seeing out of that. So, so just have like, try to have patience. I know it's hard. 
that looks good to me. Now, the new beginnings. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what our new beginnings is about. Okay, this is our card. New beginnings. This was the major um, Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is what our spread's all about. Looks like you're having going to have some new beginnings in love. And it could be with this person that's at a distance. That looks like they are probably a fire sign. And they're seeing you as the empress. That's great. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> um, to me, this is like the person is... This could be you. Or this could be them. They're just sitting there at four of pentacles is like to me is like a boredom card, like where they're at, they're bored, they're unhappy. This could be you or them, you or your person. They're not happy, they're bored. That's what I think this this is what I this is my definition of this card. Oh, and look, guess what look what's on the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely a fire sign that you're involved with. For sure. And they could be at a distance from you. Like I said, I have my group over here that has their Ten of Pentacles. Then I have this group over here that have these, have relationships that are either there's been no communication or you live at a distance, okay? And it's causing you to have being the Nine of Swords, but look what's coming up. Your new beginnings of love, the Four of Pentacles. And then um, Four of Pentacles also talks about... Um, Holding on to your heart chakra, holding on to your coin. This is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You don't have to be the sun. Holding on. You're holding on to your heart. You're holding on to their heart, and they're holding on to yours. It also can indicate boredom, also. But it's all about, you know, one is holding on to the other, even though y'all are at a distance. So this is my other group of Cancers. So we got two groups, and that's your new beginning in love. And then on your new beginnings with the Four of Pentacles, the star came out. The star, the star card is great hope, great wishes, the potential for your dreams to come true. The person that you're trying to go to that you love could be a star, or you could be a star. But it's a beautiful card. You have to go through a lot to get the star card. Looks like this relationship has been through a lot already. But that's your new beginnings in love. That's your new beginning. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more. So this is a little complicated. we got this group over here that has the sun, the ten of pentacles, and um, the sun, the seven of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles relationship. There, That's good right there. That's my group of Cancers that are married or happy in their relationship. And then you got this group over here that has that they're they're having a, a long distance relationship with a fire sign because all I see are distance cards. And then you got a new beginning. You're gonna be having a new beginning with this person. Let's see what is going on with that. Hmm. Let's get. What do I want to do here? Okay, I'm going to use my deck. My deck, this is perfect. It's called the Shadow Self Mystic Oracle Deck. These are my little cards that I made, and they're really accurate. Because there's a lot going on. There's a whole, like, two or three groups of people here. I'm reading for the collective, so. My Cancers, they like to be married. They like to have a partner. Um, like I said, they're the caretakers of the Zodiac. Here we go. Okay, one wanted to come out. I don't know. I'm not going to take that because I don't know if it... Yeah, let's see. Let's keep going. All right, what about this spread over here for my Cancers on um, Patience, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Empress, and... The Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. That's your long distance relationship. Let's see what's going on with that. Why is, why is that here? What's happening with that? Let's 
Spirit, give me a card on this spread. There we go. Okay. Well, that's easy, easy enough to figure out. Um, retrograde. Hmm. That's why you're in this. Okay, this is very clear to me now. All right, this is all your cards here. This is your person. Whether they are, it looks like they are at a distance and they're a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you got the three of wands. Okay, and then you got the nine of swords. That's you, Cancer, having a nine of swords. And then you got the empress, because you want your empress. You want to, this, well, they want you. They want, they see you as their empress. And both of y'all are in nine of swords mode because you can't, you're not, you're not able to see each other or communi communicate, possibly because of, you know, I'll, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, the, the virus that's going around. I'm going to call it the brewski, like I did in my other video. Because of the brewski, maybe you can't travel to see each other right now. A lot of places are open back up, though, but I know where I live, we're not. So, the card that came out to clarify these cards is retrograde. Okay? Retrograde. So... It means like, um, like Venus is in Gemini now. I mean, I'm not, I mean, uh, Venus retrograde is in Gemini for the next four months. So this actually, ah, okay. This actually means misunderstandings, communication problems, disagreements with friends, illusion trickery past relationships might somebody from your past might pop up this is really kind of complicated but yeah it's retrograde whatever this is my card it's whatever planet is in retrograde which is venus but it looks like you know you're 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 wanting, um, your person is wanting to communicate with you. They see you as the empress. That's your fire sign. They're wanting to communicate with you. But maybe you guys are stuck and you can't. And it's causing this nine of swords. But it could be just, you know, you and your partner having trouble communicating. These cards are accurate. You know, that's what I use when I need some insight. Um, there could be un misunderstandings and you do have some communication coming in because they see you as the empress, male or female. They see you as great, as perfect, someone great, someone nurturing, someone motherly, just like our cancers are. We know our cancers are loving, but this could cause a lot of, this is causing some confusion, some misunderstandings, some uh, miscommunication problems, um, Y'all could be could have get an argument, so that clarifies that. I'm glad to see that, um, and that's something that's temporary. You know, it's not going to be here forever. But there is communication coming in for you from your all the the people that have long distance relationships where you're not able to see each other. There is a communication coming in from your fire sign, from your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, if that's who your person is. All right, let's pull, um, let's see what this um, New Beginnings, the Four of Pentacles, and the Star. Let's check this out. Let's verify. Let's clarify and see what's going on with that. Looks like our married people over here are fine. I'm not going to bother with that group. We got that group. And you got the group with the long distance. And also the Six of Swords. We'll put that in there too. Purity, the Six of Swords. We'll put that in there too. We'll Actually, we need to clarify that one by itself. So, y'all's reading is complicated tonight. But there has been some miscommunication in a lot of y'all's relationships, especially if you're involved with the fire sign. Sometimes fire and water kind of collide sometimes, you know. 
they don't always get along. I mean, they just sort of have to work at it. So it looks like you got some communication coming in if you're at a distance from someone. And this group over here, um, Cancer, you have an, you're with an air sign, and everything looks hunky dory. You got the sun, the ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles, everything. Okay, new beginnings with the four of pentacles and the star. That's your new beginning. These are people that are having a new beginning. This is the main point of your spread: new beginnings in love. Maybe because you're not getting along with this person. Retreated. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's draw another card. That don't make a lot of sense to me. Private retreated. I see. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we have private and retreated. So, you guys are, you want a new beginning. You're going to have a new beginning in love. Um, this person, with this particular cancer group, this is the star. That's the sign of Aquarius. Sun and rising Venus, Mercury, that can mean something to you. And the four of pentacles is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Looks like that you are holding on to each other because of this four of pentacles. Both are holding on to each other. And it's going to call, you know, you're going to have a new beginning. And you got the star card. You're hoping to have a new beginning with this person. And then you're wanting to retreat with this person. Retreat, possibly go somewhere together. And have pri be private. Private. Cancers, they like their privacy. Okay. Let's see here. Let's pull some romance angel cards on this. Okay, well, let's see here. Dang. Okay, on your new beginnings in love, we have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So this new person, this new love, looks like it could be an earth sign or an Aquarius. It could be um, Car Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or it could be an Aquarius. The person might be a star. And they want to new beginning cancer y'all y'all want a new beginning you want privacy and you want to retreat from the world because you have chemistry together that's your new relationship coming up for those that, that are not already not on this side where they're married um, and this people that are having long distance relationships we're going to go into that that group here in a minute chemistry the new beginnings in love chemistry and then we got um New love, there it is, twice. Oh my goodness, yep. Okay, I'm starting to see some headway here. That's your new love, see? You got new beginnings and new love. That resonates together. And you got chemistry with that person. And you guys might already know each other because you're holding on to each other. With the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to each other's heart. And the star came out, and that person could be, that person could be like an Aquarius. You could, you could be, have your eye on an Aquarius, this new person. Or they could have their eye on you, Cancer. Cancer and Aquarius have gotten together before. I've seen it many times. And you want to be private and retreat with them. Okay, let's get new loves. So you got new love. What else we got on this spread here? Oh, deception. What in the world? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, I thought it was going to be okay. We got that card. One of them in there, this new love that's coming in, looks like they are, it's either you or them. You're, you're wearing a mask. You're not being yourself. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, deception. I don't like that card. Free yourself. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. For yourself. Let me see where this is going. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We got that one. And we got release your ex. Ah, okay. I got it. I got it now. Release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Okay, that makes sense. Calling in your soulmate on the bottom of the deck. Twice. Calling in your soulmate. Once. And twice. Once, twice, three times a soulmate. Okay. So it looks like. Cancer. This is the basic of basis of your reading. You're going to have new beginnings in love. Okay. And the person y'all are, somebody's probably somebody, maybe someone you already know that you've had a relationship with before because of the four pentacles. And then you got the star card, which is Aquarius. Take that how it resonates, okay? And then we've got private and retreat. You guys want to, you want to retreat? And have some private time because there's chemistry. And then we got new love on here, new beginnings and love. We got that new love. Looks like it's with an Aquarius, Cancer and Aquarius. New love, new beginnings, new love twice. Okay. And you got chemistry together. And you also got, I'm going to put those down. It's too many cards to try to show. This new love. Okay, there's some deception in here. Okay, the person that you're with now, they're wearing a false mask. Okay, maybe they're not being good to you. Maybe they're not the type of partner. Maybe you don't want to be with them anymore. Okay. It says free yourself from that person. Finances and career may be a factor in your life. I don't know what that's about. Release your ex. There it is again. Free yourself. Release your ex. And release your ex. Free yourself. Release your ex and free yourself. They want you to do that. Spirit wants you to do that because... This person over here, this new love, is your soulmate, and it came up twice. It said, first card was calling in your soulmate, and then soulmate came up again. So that's soulmate twice. New love twice, soulmate twice. Chemistry, and the four of pentacles, and new love was twice. And but before you can do all that, before you can go to this new love... Um, the person you're with is wearing a mask, so you need to free yourself from that person, you know, and finances and career may be a factor, and you need to release your ex and free yourself, and you're wearing a false mask so you can go to this new person. Well, that makes sense. So you can go to this new love over here. Let's see here if I can get... What's going on over here with, I'm not even going to read this right here. Um, looks like this is together. This is the relationship with this fire sign you need to release yourself from. Okay, I got this figured out now. 
finally. <laughs> so you need to release yourself from this um, retrograde where you're the ones you're the fire sign you're having the nine of swords you're having the nine of swords over um they could be at a distance from you or not and so you're having a um you're having you're having some problems in that relationship some miscommunications is going on but somebody new's coming in that's your soulmate let me see if i can get if i can pull up a court card and see who this is the aquarius is showing up Aquarius and or tar it could be an Aquarius or a Taurus Capricorn or a Virgo it could be an earth sign or it could be an Aquarius but let's see let's let me see who is this new love let's verify who is this new love spirit give us a court card who is this new love that's coming towards my cancers the ones that aren't married. I'm not bothering this. This group over here is good to go. But this over here, there's problems. Release your ex. Deception. Free yourself so you can go to this new love. Don't know. This is coming up. And we're going to do a couple other things to verify what's going on. Let's see. New love. Soulmate. The star card, the Aquarius card, and the four of pentacles card, and the soulmate and the new love. Give us a card on this spirit. Let me have a card on this. Okay, let's see. That, that didn't jump out. Looks like this over here, this fire sign, you've had patience with them, but it's just not working out. So you need to go towards this new love. You need to release your ex. I, I hate to tell you that, but, you know, going to a new love is, is, is always a good thing. It's going to be hard for you to do, though. It's hard for cancers to let go. They don't like to abandon or hurt anyone, so... I feel you. I feel you, Cancer. I really do. Let's see, honey. Let's see. What about this soulmate? Who is this? Merit? Let's get one a card on this. New love and soulmate twice. New love twice. The, can the star card and the four of pentacles. Let's get a card on that. The only court card I've seen is the Queen of Swords, and she's over in this group that's married and happy, so it's not her. So we need a court card. Two of Cups. <laughs> well, that just verifies it again. Two of Cups. That just came up. Two of Cups is this one of the soulmate cards. It goes, you've got soulmate, you've got calling in your soul, you've got um, calling up, calling, calling on your soulmate and soulmate and new love twice, and then it's verified with the two of cups. So, um, this is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be another water sign, or it could be another water sign, or it could be an Aquarius, or it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So, that's on the bottom. The chariot. <laughs> Chariot is Cancer and Sagittarius card. It means forward movement. You're going to be moving towards that soon. Okay. So you do have new love coming in. But you need to free yourself from all that. You need to free yourself, free yourself from your ex. Free yourself. It's the only way it's going to work. Ah. You got the emperor came up. Okay. That's Aries energy. The emperor is a major arcana. It's Aries. Wow. He's got some serious eyes, don't he? That's, uh, I think it's, how do you say it? Poseidon? Interesting. Okay. All right. Let me see. All right, let me see what. Let's um, 
So we got an air. You, okay, you got a lot of signs in here. I mean, I really can't tell you which. This is a general reading. It could be an Aquarius. It could be an Aries. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or, yeah, that's it. But no fire signs. You need to part ways with this fire sign. Because it's not going well. Okay, that's just, you know, you, you, you know, you can, don't have to take that advice. Let's see what, um, is coming soon for you, Cancer. What's coming up? It's coming soon to a Cancer the Crab Theater near you. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to, let's see. All right, so we have the source of your, this is coming soon. Um, let me see here. I'm sorry, guys, it's really late at night. I mean, it's three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. The source of your romantic conflict, I'm trying to verify, it, is the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. So the Seven of Swords is like, you know, sneaky, old sneaky, liar, cheater, thief, you know sneaky energy around you and the page of cups which is water energy cancer pisces scorpio you're wanting to pick up the fishy phone and call in your soulmate but you are going to be having new love soon so that that is what's coming up. Let me get rid of that Seven of Swords person. Release your ex. And then you're going to have a love offer. The Page of Cups is coming in. Somebody's going to be picking up the phone, communicating with you, just like over here. Same thing. It could be a lot of different signs. Like I said, I have Aries. I have Aries. I have Cancer. Another Cancer. I have, that's probably you though. I have Aries, I have Aquarius, I have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's going to be one of them five, five signs, but you are, new love is coming in for you. All right. And it's a soulmate twin flame. It's soulmate. Soulmate, you got soulmate twice on here. So what I'm going to do is read some twin flame messages here for you on your soulmate relationship. But we got a group of cancers that are happy as larks over here. And then we got the one, this, this group over here that's dealing, sometimes fire and water don't mix. Just saying it don't, sometimes it don't work out. You know, I mean, it could, but they need these new love coming in. None of them are fire signs. You're with a, probably with a fire sign right now that you need to break away from. Okay, what does it say? You're going to have a hard time leaving the person you're with. You don't want to hurt them. It says, it really was me, not you. You don't want to tell them you're you're having a hard time. You don't want to tell them that you don't want to be with them anymore. That you want to be with this person. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. That's your new person. That's your new love. This goes over here. Okay, and then you got. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. So you're scared to 
tell this fire sign you're just afraid to, you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to tell them you want to break up with them, that you're not happy. You may not have met this new love yet. This new love is in the future, so you're going to have a hard time breaking away from this person because cancers, they're like that. They don't like to hurt anybody. I just already know. I understand. I feel you. I feel you, partner. Let's see. What else do we got here? I'm afraid to take that next step right now. So when you get this new love comes in, this new love has not come in yet, but it's on the way. It's in the future. You're still dealing with this fire sign. And you're afraid. You're going to be afraid to take the next step. I keep comparing others to you. This is crazy. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized. Whatever that means. Let's see what's on the bottom. I will make things right between us one day. Oh my gosh, this looks so familiar. I look at your picture. This is this fire sign. You haven't met this um, new love yet. This is in the future. We don't know what sign it is. I'm sorry, I can't do better, but this is what I'm seeing. Okay, you still... You're still hung up. You're hung up on this fire sign, whoever they is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer. So I look at your picture often. That's Cancer for sure. They still hung up. Am I good enough for you? So this person, this fire sign, you're thinking, you know, I don't think they're keeping you emotionally fulfilled. I don't think that they're the, that the, they're that you're not happy whether you're together or at a distance you might be together but your you could be your relationship could be distant like y'all are not really close anymore you feel me so that's what I'm getting out of this let me know in the comments if it resonates with you or not if my cancers okay this is a um Future, this is for your future person that's coming in. I don't know who it is. I told you it's either an Aries or an Aquarius or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be any of those. That's coming up. Soulmates coming up. And like I said, it's coming up later because this is coming up. It all comes down to timing. That goes with your new person that's coming in later. But you still got to. You know, you and this fire sign are having some issues. I mean, you could be together and just be far apart mentally. You could be living in the same house and just be far apart mentally. Or you could be at a distance from them. And then we got this group over here, this Ten of Pentacles and the Sun. They're all happy as larks. So we got two groups of Cancers. And then the one that is having a problem with a relationship, they got a new love coming in, in the future. We just don't know when. It all comes down to timing. Makes sense to me. So what do you got to do? You're just going to have to be, practice a little patience, which you're good at that. You can handle it. Cancer, you can do it. So you just have to be patient. Okay. And stay pure. You're pure. We know you are. Stay pure. Because I do see it coming soon down here, too. You got the um, Page of Cups, too, coming up. Somebody's going to be calling you, picking up that phone, the, the fishy phone. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting silly. I've been doing a lot of readings today and yesterday, personal and YouTube. Well, I've only done two videos on YouTube, but I did a lot of personals yesterday. But this is what I'm seeing for you. Let's pull one more card let's pull the animal card but you are my cancers that are single or are having problems in their relationship you are going to come you're going to get you're going to get new love because it says new love twice soulmate twice 
chemistry, all that good stuff, but I, we don't know what sign it is yet. After I start reading these month after month, I'm just probably going to read the signs once a month, maybe depending, you know, about once a month, then I'll be able to see a pattern going on. Okay, Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think. This is for you. You can handle it. Cancer, we know you can. You're a lot tougher than you think. The situation, the one that's in the situation with the fire sign and got the new love coming. I'm not worried about these people over here. They're happy as larks. Let's see. Um, spider, trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through stories that inspire and enlighten. Well, that could be something for you to do. You may have some writing talent. You may have some kind of skill in that area. That would be a good way for you to express yourself. Spider spin a web, so maybe you're good at spinning a story. Right, right. And another thing that might make you feel better on the bottom of the deck, the emu, it says, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. So maybe you should think about taking a trip. The cancers are tough people. They can handle it. They're tough on the outside and soft on the inside. Of all the ones I've ever met, they can handle anything. They're all... Had a lot of bosses that were cancers, you know? And so is my ex-husband. So it's just like, I just... Um, I noticed they are very strong and resilient. And you guys deserve it. You're the caretakers of the Zodiac. So whatever this mess is over here with the fire sign, it needs to go. But it looks like you're going to have a hard time because you don't want to hurt them. Ain't that right, Cancer? I know. I get it, but you are, if you can manage to get out of this, you do have, it will open you up for new love in the future, and it's a matter of time, but you have to get rid of this, work this relationship out with this fire sign first, and you guys over here with your son and your ten of pentacles and your seven of pentacles and all that, you are good to go. That couple there, that they're happy as larks. So I'm glad to see you got one section. I've got two different sets of cancers here. So I thought, but you do have good news coming in the future. So that is my reading for you guys. Um, I hope it resonated with you. Um, you're in one of those two groups, for sure. Um, let me know in the comments if it resonated with you. And like I said, I offer personal readings. They are they're personal readings. They're $93.33. Um, there's no time limit on the personal readings. It doesn't matter if it's two hours or three hours or an hour. It's still the same, same amount. Um, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, um, I would be very eternally grateful any amount you know since my number is 333 you could do like three dollars three dollars and 33 cents i will push my i will put my paypal information in the description box um i do my readings via skype facebook messenger um we can do email where you just do the text i can even make a video and send it to you that's another thing that i'm doing now I mean, I can just, if you don't want to talk face to face, you know, I can do a video and on your personal situation, I do, I do need to get in for some information on you and I can send you a video. That's another thing. It's still the same price, same thing. Um, also there's some other things I do. I do healing work. Um, that's probably my strongest point is the healing work. I do healing. Ooh. I saw something on the camera that spooked me out. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just me, probably. Um, 
I'm sorry. But yeah, something just, something, something came up on the camera that didn't look right. Okay, it's probably just me. But anyway, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, I'm gonna, all my information will be in the description box. And you do have new love coming. If you can manage to get out of the situation you're in, it's hard on my cancers. They don't like to hurt people. So I understand. I feel you. Just don't even worry about it. Take your time. Do what works best for you. But I could really look into it. If you would like a personal reading, I could do. I could give you a lot more answers because we got two groups of cancers here, and this is for thousands of people. So for me to really pinpoint your situation in detail, uh, a personal reading would be recommended, especially for you guys, for what I'm looking at now. You need a personal reading. You know, so just, you know, get up with me on that if you're interested. I also do healing work. Um, I also, you know, you'll see some other stuff I do down there um, about removing spell work and all that stuff that, you know, we have to do a reading to determine if there's even anything going on. If, you know, that's something that you can talk to me about. Uh, you People usually know that. They usually feel it. Um, okay. So I'm, uh, I'm feeling really strong energy in here tonight. I don't know what's up with that, but I am going to go now, my Cancers. I love you. Uh, my mom's a Cancer. Um, so, you know, I know some friends of mine, bosses I've worked for, they were like the greatest, kindest people I ever met. And my ex-husband, which is, you know, we just got, you know, like I said, I'm a fire sign, he's water, so we just probably just didn't, didn't mix, but I understand you guys more than you think, and I can help you. I'm good. At, I'm very good healer. That's my strong point. A personal reading for this situation is definitely recommended because you guys got a lot going on. So, if you think I would be, I'm the reader for you, then you just get up with me, send me an email, and we'll figure out what type of re, what, how you want to do the reading. Okay, that's if you want to. Um. That's all I have to say tonight. I'm sorry I keep rambling on. Um, I just feel like my cancer's out there. Some of y'all need someone, need some help. I don't know why I'm feeling that real strong. I just am feeling it in the energy in the room. Okay, well, I'm going to go. And I hope it is 4.42 in the morning. And I've been up since early this morning. So I'm probably going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys email me you'll see the information in the description box um recommending a personal reading for the person that's having a problem for the people not the ones that are in this happy marriage over here you don't need me but i definitely could give you some insight so anyway cancers i love you and you guys take it easy namaste love and light to you and mwah. Kissing you. Good morning, good night. For me, it's going to be night because I'm getting ready to go to bed. But you guys have a great day. Have a great evening. Um, I'll be praying for you, meditating for you. Um, I'm a little concerned here. Some people are going to need a personal reading. I'm recommending that. I don't usually, I'm not that pushy about it, but I'm seeing it. So, I'm going to stop rambling on. Hang in there, guys. Everything's going to be okay. And I love you. And mwah, one more kiss. And I'm signing off now. Take it easy, Cancer. Get some rest.